What's up, guys? And we are back with part three of uh, the final scene. So uh, let's get right into it. The last episode, I cannot remember. Yeah, we just got into her room right here. This calls priority. Try me later. Yeah, so, um, yeah. So let's just get out of here. Because it's not very fun. So, yeah. And then, uh, I think we have to go back here. We did find one of the gears in last episode. Wrong way. We did find one of the gears. That's always a plus. There we go. Okay, so that's always a plus. Uh, we got this new guy. No teeny boppers till showtime. House rules. Have you seen my friend Maya? She's 19, 5'5", five five, black hair. She has on running shoes, jeans, and a black shirt with butterflies on it. And the crisis is? She went into Brady Armstrong's yeah, dressing dude. room and disappeared. Good old Charmstrong. Why are women always losing themselves over him? Hmm. This is serious. I think she's been kidnapped. Whew. Kidnapping? <laughs> That's a high-profile tactic. Somebody nice. means business. So what's the demands? The phone call was awful. They want the demolition stopped. No kidding. <laughs> That'll blast those bureaucrats and corporate bigwigs out of their dream world. Applause for the cause. We need all the help we can get. Is that good? Or is... Excuse me? We're talking about a girl's life here. I'm sorry. I know you're upset, but they won't mess with your friend. They just took her for effect. It's called making a statement. Well, it's not funny. A statement? They said they'll let Maya go down with the building if it gets demolished. I haven't asked her myself, but something tells me that's a statement she'd rather not make. She'll be okay. Trust me. I'm not about to take that chance. Fight the power. Nancy, what's the 411? The 411? The Come on, Nancy. That's vintage slang. You know, the 411, the deal, the lowdown. So, humans against the destruction of illustrious theaters. Tell me about it. Hmm. This theater's a spotted owl. It's a humpback whale. It's endangered. Illustrious buildings testify to our finest human hours. They should be celebrated, not bulldozed to make way for cardboard megaplexes. Need I say more? Do you know what no. they plan to build on this spot after the theater yeah, is too. gone? Oh, it's very hush-hush. The name of the building firm is Wave of the Future, and the owner is some B. Thompson, descendant of J.J. Thompson, but he's never available for comment. Fishy, right? Ten bucks says B stands for baloney. <laughs> Catch you later. On the flip side. This man's crazy. Alright, let's go. Let's go snoop around here. Who is that? You must be Nancy. The worry's written all over your face. Well, I'm Joe. I started Hi, to look Joe. for you, but then I figured better to park myself and let you find me. Any trace of your friend? I found the secret passageway all right, but no sign of Maya. I can't believe this is happening. What about calling the police? There's an outside line in the ticket booth. We did. Thanks, but I already tried that. Standard procedure says I'm on my own for the next 24 hours. Standard procedure? I mean, I understand the police can't go chasing after every kid who gets lost at the mall, but this is different. Back. But this theater's gonna be torn down in three days. Did you tell him that? Yes. They say it's unlikely that the kidnapper would keep her in the building. Well, I checked all the outside doors, and, and they're locked up tight. Only folks who've been in the theater all day are Brady and Simone, you and Maya, Nicholas Falcone, and myself. Brady, Nicholas Falcone. Yeah. You're suggesting it must be one of these people? Well, I've only got this one pair of eyes, so I can't say 100%. Are you counting yourself as a suspect? I was up here in the projector room, sound testing for the premiere. 
but I'd be disappointed in your detective work if you didn't put me through the ringer like a regular suspect. I did hear, I did hear his voice. Sound testing. Yeah, I think I remember hearing you practicing your MC voice now that you mention it. I reckon if the kidnapper wants the demolition stopped, they must be keeping Maya somewhere in the building. Did I mention what the kidnapper said? Oh, I think so. Or maybe Brady told me when I saw him in the hall. He seems eager to help. This dude's sketch. I never said anything about that. Helpful suspects. What more could I ask for? That's the spirit. Now, what's your plan of attack? Um... Operation Bust a Kidnapper is about to begin. Where can I get an insider's guide to all of the secret passages in this place? Try calling County Administration. The records division keeps that type of stuff. I bet a blueprint would show secret passages that even I've never found. As really? for the original plans, not the ones from the 56 remodel. When was the theater built? Completed in 1925. The vision of one J.J. Thompson. Anyway, I spent the last 40-something years finding my way around this place, so let me know if I can help. Thanks, Joseph. Don't let the turkeys get you down. I'll try. There was a key here. There was a key here. There was. So where'd it go? There was a key here. Let's get out of here. Oh, wait, we look at everything. There's tunnel clippers, but like we don't need that stuff. Anyways, let's keep going. Okay, so, so, so. I heard there was like a wheel or something. Not here, but like on the other side. This way. This way, this way, this way. Here we go. Can we get this? No. This one's missing. I can't quite reach. I can't quite reach. <laughs> that was scary. Second chance. We need to f we need to go find some gum. We could go find some lying around, maybe. You guys know where any gum is? Anything at all? Like popcorn? Let's go back to that popcorn place. We saw popcorn. I can't remember where I found it. It's like around here. Somewhere going up the aisles. There it is. Eck! I grabbed it. There we go. We can definitely grab it now. Open sesame. Okay, okay. Got it. Eh, 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 eh. Back to the back of the stage. Um, this no. Er, I know. Wait, 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 there we go. Through here, or not through here actually. Through this one. Yeah, here we go. Down here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We found the second wrong way. This nope. This way. Unlock this. 
Open this. Yes. Got a and a napkin. JJ Thompson. Got a key though. Uh, okay. I guess that's it. Shut it. Uh, where is this key going? Is there anywhere we can put this key? Nancy Drew, Simone Mueller, don't worry, Vanishing Destiny is off. We've got bigger fish to fry. Uh... The premiere has been canceled? Of course. I mean, a kidnapping? Right out of my star's dressing room? The premiere is small potatoes. It's worth more to us canceled or at least postponed. When the Howdy. news gets out, the whole nation will be watching. I don't think we should get the press into this before the police have had a chance to investigate. <laughs> mm -hmm. Where are you from? River, River Heights. Heights. Why? Yes, precisely. <laughs> River Heights. Listen, doll, I'm from L.A. This ain't my first time at the rodeo. We'll find your friend, or Brady Armstrong will, and when he does, every girl in America will wish she'd been kidnapped instead of Maya what's-her-name. Maya Winnet or something. I can't believe you. No girl wants to be kidnapped, ever. I'm proposing a business alliance. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. We don't have to see eye to eye. Hmm. Sounds like an invitation to the swamp of no return. Thanks, but no thanks. Honey, you've got spunk. Ever consider acting? This girl no. power thing is red hot right now. Of course, we'd have to think of a stage name. Nancy Drew is so utterly forgettable. Great. Joseph says the building was probably locked when the kidnapping happened, and that the kidnapper had to be someone who was inside the theater. Care to comment? Why don't yep. you tell that little gray troll that I think he did it, just to keep himself from dying of boredom in this old dump. That's my comment. Rude. I'm asking everyone, where were you when the kidnapping happened? Oh, please, Nancy. I was on the phone, doing business. But if I'm ever hard-pressed for entertainment, I'm sure kidnapping would be a real hoot. I think your phone's about to ring. Ciao. Well, yeah. So with that weird sink, why do we why do we have to why do we get to go in there? It's a disgusting sink, nasty. To the men's dressing room. Maybe we can talk to Brady. Maybe we can unlock this actually. This needed a key, right? Yeah, this needed a key. It's locked. It's locked. It 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 it's locked. Well. Any news? Who's this Simone, and how do you know her? Simone Mueller, CEO of my life. Uh, I mean, my agent. Oh. Focus on being wholesomely smoldering, she says, and leave the rest to me. So I do. She's been setting up Premier HQ in the women's dressing room. Haven't you heard her snarling at people on the phone? I'm asking everyone, where were you when the kidnapping happened? Me? You think I kidnapped Maya and then breezed in here just four minutes later? Where would I hide her? In my back pocket? Okay, okay. but where were you? I, exactly. Well, I was late getting back from a haircut. I... Uh, this is hard for me. I think my hairline might be receding. It's miserable. Simone's gonna go through the roof. Really? Talk to you later, Brady. Don't be a stranger. This dude, out of his mind. Did we miss something in the closet? Did we miss something in here? Ah oh, man, we can't go back in. Wow, they cut us off real quick. Oh, 
was cool. I saw one dude. Can't believe they would do that to us. That's the theater. That is tough. Dude. What's up? Can't talk long. Gotta check on my people. What's your attachment to saving this theater? You seem so personally invested. Politics yeah. is personal, but with this place, it's ultra personal. My grandma, Louisa Falcone, designed the molds for all the insane plaster work that you see in this lobby and in the auditorium. Okay. Wow, I can see why you would hate to let it be destroyed. After all, this artwork is her legacy. True, true, but there's more. I guess the architect owner guy, J.J. Thompson, ran out of cash before the building was done. He never paid my grandma dime one, and then he denied that she had ever done the work in the first place. Wow. Didn't she fight it? Yeah, she was the artist type, not a deal maker. I guess she'd never signed any contractual stuff with J.J., and she didn't have the resources to sue him or any of that. So I guess she just had to let it go. That's what I'm talking about. Get yourself a contract. She must have been so frustrated. Here's the kicker. After JJ sharked her on this two-year project, she was broke. And then the Great Depression hit. She could never afford to work as an artist again. Was she bitter about it? Louisa, Mother Serenity Falcone? Ah, she just kept on trucking in true Falcone style. Died at 97 without a bitter bone in her body. I think she had a happy life. But this theater holds the last artwork she ever did. Don't you see, Nancy? Saving this place is not just for history. It's for justice. No justice, no peace. Can't you get some justice now? My family has been trying for years, but... There doesn't seem to be anything on record that links her to this place. Nancy, could you do me a favor? What do you want? Maybe there's something buried in the theater. While you're searching, could you just keep your eye out? For what? If I run across the name Louisa Falcone or anything else that might help, you'll be the first to know. You're cooler than I thought, Nancy. I try to play it down. Smooth, bro. Gotta stay ready, bro. Don't be ready. Stay ready. You feel me? Should we call that one, please? There we go. City garbage pickup. What? Um. Let's call it Ned. One, five, two, three. Five, 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 four, three, five, seven. Boop. Boop. Hello? Ned, it's Ned. me. Nancy, Beth called and told me what happened with Maya. I've been worried sick. Did she tell you what the police said? About the 24-hour delay? Yeah, she told me. But I have faith in you, Nancy. You've solved plenty of cases before uh. without help from the police. So let's get down to business. Who are your suspects? It seems there were only four people in the building at the time of the kidnapping, besides Maya and myself. Brady Armstrong, Simone Mueller, his agent, Nicholas Falcone, a political activist, and the caretaker, what does Joseph that mean? Hughes. Any hunches? Not yet. I've got a lot of work to do. Call me anytime. I'll try to stay close to the phone. By the time I finally got to talk to Simone Mueller, she had heard all about the kidnapping and canceled the premiere of Vanishing Destiny. Hmm. Sounds like bad news travels fast around old theaters. That's just the thing. Simone didn't seem to think Maya's kidnapping was bad news at all. She kept calling it a great opportunity. She kept saying what fabulous publicity it's going to be for Brady. Sounds like she knows how to turn a profit in any situation. The question is, is she just responding to the situation? Or did she have a hand in creating it in the first place? No flies on you, Nancy Drew. I mean, Sounds she was in that like secret room. Detective mind is in high gear. She was in that secret room, so... I mean... Come on now. I've got to think of a way to get this demolition stopped. Well, the police aren't being much help. But couldn't you try contacting the owner of the building? I'm sure he or she would be willing to postpone for a couple of days. 
I mean, what's the rush? According to Nicholas, his name is B. Thompson, and he won't talk to the press. Hmm, I wonder what he has to hide. His building firm is called Wave of the Future. Catchy. I wonder what he has against the present. Ned, I just remembered something. Joseph used the phrase Wave of the Future when I first met him. He was talking about the remodel of the theater in 1956. Do you think it's a coincidence? I don't know, Nance. If Joseph turns out to be the owner of the theater and the guy behind the demolition, I think it'll be fair to say you've seen everything. Ooh. I'm trying to decide what to do next. Any thoughts? Start questioning your suspects. See if they've got credible alibis. Facts. I'm trying to decide what to I do next. Have that again. Any thoughts? Start questioning your suspects. See if they've got credible alibis. Bye, Ned. Bye, Nancy. Y'all finna get in trouble. Shouldn't we have called that one place? Um. Let's call. Nah. Let's call these numbers, y'all. Okay, so first we already called the same as the police department. The Royal Platanium. Let's call that. Plat. Can't read. Third. 314-555-7189. 314-7189. Oh, shoot. I messed up. 31455571189 Hey You got to give me a chance to call Rude Okay, let's go question people. You first. How goes the search? I haven't found anything that mentions your grandmother but I did find something very interesting about the ownership of the theater. Well, don't just stand there. Start breaking it down. Did you ever hear about a challenge that J.J. Thompson issued to Harry Houdini back in 1925? Yeah, and? Let's just say that J.J. Thompson found himself in a tight spot. What does this have to do with the ownership of the theater? Mm. Now listen, I'm at this man's whole career. From what I can tell, J.J. had to give Harry Houdini 50% of the theater as the reward. Ha! Serves that swindler J.J. right. Nancy, do you realize what this means? No. I'm working on a couple of theories. If Thompson didn't own the whole place, then whoever inherited it from Thompson doesn't legally own the whole place either. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Which means they don't have the authority to knock this building down. We've got to find out what happened to his half of the ownership. You keep looking for Maya. I've got a laptop out in my van. I'll get online and do some research. Check back soon. Out in your van, Catch you later. Bro. Fight the power. Nancy, it's Joseph. Wait till you see this. Me so Come hard. to the projection room. That scares me so hard, dude. It's like the scariest thing ever, I swear. Yes, Joseph. Nancy, take a look at this. Hey! Oh my gosh, Maya's press pass. Brady found it. Brady found it. What? This should be enough evidence to get the police over here, don't you think? I should think so. Give the police a call, and then you better go back to your hotel and get some rest. Why? Just when I have a lead? No way! I've got to keep searching. You won't be any help to my if you get too tired to think. Okay. Well, I guess you have a point there. Go ahead and use the phone in the ticket booth. I'll be down in a minute. This dude's creepy. Seven foot two? Three thirty? No, he's probably like seven foot two, two hundred, bro. Be like, this man's scary. St. Louis Police Department. Missing Persons Unit, please. Please hold missing persons. This is Ramsey. Hi, Sergeant Ramsey. This is Nancy Drew. I spoke to you earlier today about the disappearance of my friend, Maya Wen. 
Hello, Miss True. You're calling to tell me that you found your friend, I hope. I nope. wish that were true, sir. No, she's still missing. I'm calling to report that I have the evidence you asked for. What did you find? Someone else here at the theater found Maya's press pass. It was clipped to her shirt when she went into the dressing room. It must have been torn off when she was kidnapped. Or it fell off. Or she just tossed it. Maya is very serious about her work, Sergeant Ramsey. She never goes anywhere without that pass. And she would not willingly leave it behind. Is the pass damaged in any way? No. No. Was anything disturbed in the area where it was found? I don't know. I'm not the one who found it. Okay, well, thanks for checking in, Miss Drew. If Maya hasn't turned up by tomorrow, we'll definitely be out to investigate. Someone will take a look at the press pass then. But you said that if I found evidence, you'd investigate the theater today. I'm sorry, Miss Drew, but we can't go chasing after every kid who decides to take a leave of absence. The vast majority of missing juveniles disappear of their own accord. Juveniles. And they reappear when they're good and ready. She went to you college. You have to believe me. Maya would never play this kind of game. Nicholas Falcone said he thinks somebody is using her to make a statement. Nicholas Falcone? Is he involved in this? Are you involved with him? Haddock no. is demonstrating against the demolition in front of the theater. Nicholas has set up shop in the lobby. I've spoken to him. I'm not involved with him. Are you aware of the allegations against Mr. Falcone's character, Miss Drew? No. Allegations? Nick Falcone operates according to his own rules. He'll do just about anything to save a theater, and he's not afraid to use extreme tactics. What kind of extreme tactics? What does it mean? You name it. Vandalism, sabotage, chaining himself to demolition machinery. Is that right? And last year, there was a situation over in Nashville. Just when the oldest theater in the city is about to be torn down, and mind you, had it is there in full force, a girl goes missing. So happens she's the daughter of the demolition boss. They go crazy looking for her. There's a call, just like the one you described. Anyway, to make a long story short, the demolition is called off. And three weeks later, the girl is seen snuggling up to Falcone in a Memphis coffee shop. Are you suggesting Nicholas is staging this thing? I'm just saying that there's more to situations like these than meets the eye. Nick Falcone is a real operator and he likes to humiliate the police. I'm not ah, going to jump dude, on the bandwagon here with this government. whole royal palladium thing and let him make my unit look like a bunch of that chumps. Not right. I see. So you aren't going to have any credit with us if you join ranks with him. Does he have a criminal record? Oh, minor stuff. Disorderly conduct, trespassing, yada, yada, yada. But Nick Falcone can slime his way out of a sticky situation like no one I've ever seen. Hmm. Unfortunately, there's no jail sentence for being a royal pain in the neck. There are no good citizenship awards for it yeah, either. I Look, I know you're worried, worry. but for now, there's respect nothing we can do. Services. And there's nothing you can do either. Why don't you go home and get some rest? I'm sure you've had a long day. Well, this has been very informative, Sergeant Ramsey. Yeah, he's I'll in talk trouble. to you tomorrow. We finna night, get him cool. tomorrow. Just wait. We finna get him. I heard the whole thing, Nancy. Go get some sleep. I'll keep an eye on things till morning. Okay. What the heck? What the way, y'all? Planning funeral. Okay. Yeah, that's not right. Whoever did that, that's not right. Yo, where's Joseph? Why is there a missing person sign? Okay. Reward for information leading on Maya's safe return. Pretty Armstrong offering sign poster of a newly vanishing. Va Vanishing Destiny. Really, dude? I'm sorry you had to see that wreath, Nancy. It's disgusting. Facts. This is one creepy kidnapper, that's for sure. Uh, let's hope the kidnapper just did this to scare you. <laughs> like I'm not scared enough? Like I don't know time is running out? The phone's been ringing off the hook all morning. I don't know how the press got a hold of this, but... <laughs> They're all over it like ants on a picnic. Oh, yeah, we've... We know that girl from L.A., I know. Where did those missing posters come from? I can't say for sure, but I can make an educated guess. Who is it? 
Are you thinking of a certain Hollywood agent we know? Can you believe the way she diverted all of the attention away from Maya and used the poster to promote Brady as the big hero? Wow. This shouldn't be happening. It's all bad. See that man's muscles? I'm scared of this dude. So where will you go after the demolition? Are you planning to retire? Greasewood, Arizona. My brother Jake is there. It's a tiny town with no movie theater, so we're gonna put one on the map. I got some money saved. Word. Don't use your 401k though. You need that. Tell me about that old key making machine in the lobby. Has it been out of order long? It's been broken for a spell. The kids lost interest in it when video games came along. But I bet it wouldn't be hard to fix. I'd love for you to see how it works. And then you can make yourself a little souvenir from the Royal Palladium. Or send a key to your sweetheart. Hmm. Video games. Isn't this game made in like the 1900s? I'm too young. Okay, I'm sorry guys. Who is this J.J. Thompson character anyway? Old J.J. Owner. Visionary. Wheeler dealer. J.J. loved a magic show. He had this place built with those kind of big spectacle shows in mind. J.J. also happened to love the sight of his own mug in the mirror. You can tell by the way he uh, ornamented the auditorium with his own head. Right. The history of this theater is so rich. I'm surprised the city of St. Louis isn't more interested in preserving it. Well, they are interested. The Historical Society's been working like the Dickens to get this place declared a landmark. But someone downtown has been stalling. They're awfully close. Hmm. The police told me Nicholas Falcone is known for using extreme tactics to further his political causes. Yeah. Why are you letting him use the lobby as his headquarters? Nicholas has been hanging around this theater since he was a little boy. I know how torn up he is about the theater. This will be over soon enough, and then he'll go home. I don't think he's dangerous, for gosh sakes. Yeah, I mean, he is kind of Gotta hard. go he's now. About five, nine. He's about 5'9", 150. 150, so, I mean, or 190. Probably not, though. Maybe 175, but, no, he's not dangerous. Like, he wouldn't, like, hurt nobody. Yo! Nancy, what's the 411? You didn't tell me kidnapping was part of Activism 101. That's all hearsay, Nancy. They got no witnesses, no testimony, no nothing. Mmm. You are kind of slippery. I don't care if you've been convicted or not. Who are you? I am not an eco-terrorist, and I would never orchestrate the temporary disappearance of anyone who wasn't in on the plan and down with the cause. Maybe you'd better think about being in on the law and down with the truth, Nicholas. All right, Officer Nancy, chill out, will you? I'm on your side. Tell me about your relationship with the police. All I know is they like to dig through my garbage and follow my van. Does this face say America's most wanted to you? Probably have a probably have a warrant or something. Joseph told me that the St. Louis Historical Society is in the process of trying to declare this building an historical landmark. They've been in that process for years. It's all just a big wad of red tape, a bunch of bureaucratic hocus pocus. Had it's about action, not paperwork. I'm asking everyone, where were you when the kidnapping happened? I was outside, harnessing public outrage. Ask anyone. Well, you messed up because it Catch can't you even later. get in. It took me 30 power. minutes to get in. It took me 30 minutes to get in. You need to control your people. They showing out back there, man. They showing out. Someone get them. Wrong way. Let's go ask everybody where. Let's go ask Simone some questions and then we're gonna round it off. Wrong way. Can't go that way. Right here. Simone. Have you seen the posters? Aren't they fabulous? No. You made the posters? When? After Brady found her press pass, of course. You know I was searching for evidence to show the police. You know every hour counts. 
But when Brady found the pass, you used it to promote your star before you turned it over? Maya's on the poster. It says she's missing. So what's your issue? Brady's out plastering those posters all over St. Louis and every podunk town for 50 miles. He's due wow. back at any time, though, for the press conference. A press conference. Press conference? I've invited the press here today to report on Brady's commitment to solving this case. You know, a few questions, a few photo ops, no big deal. That funeral wreath was awful, wasn't it? Oh, you did it. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah, it was, it was. Yeah, it kind of was. You saw the wreath? Where is it now? I had it moved out front for the press conference. We want the press to know just how heartless this kidnapper is, don't we? Then it's all the more fabulous when Brady saves the day. How long have you been Brady's agent? Oh, no. Uh, I discovered him on an electric spring morning six years ago. He was working the original Coney Dog stand on Sunset Boulevard. It was pure luck. I was craving an all-beef frank at 7 a.m. He's been the jewel in my crown ever since. I'm not awake at 7 a.m. Mm -mm, I think mm -mm. your phone's about to ring. Bye now. All right, guys. We're going to round it off. So, um, yeah. Stay tuned for part four. Peace out.